we're gonna start today's video with a question to you guys. Do you think this map, Rancho del Arroyo, is underrated? Because personally, I love this map. I think the pheasant hunting is better here than any other map that has pheasants. The species in general are really fun. But we don't get to record here very much, at least not in multiplayer, because very rarely is there actually a server open. But today we've got a server open, so we're going to get out here and see what we can find. And what better way to start this hunt than with a max word estimate level 2 pheasant? 16 to 19 score estimate, and I talked about pheasant hunting being better on this map than any other, and one of the reasons is, the pheasants actually run for cover, and even though it never actually hunkered down in cover, it doing that is what allowed us to get close enough to just get that with the shotgun, and not have it flush at like 100 meters, so not our greatest shooting with the 20 gauge, but got him down, and what should be a solid gold pheasant as our first kill, and hopefully... Whatever's going on here is we have multiple birds landing right next to us means we're gonna have some decent bird hunting luck today But since we're a multiplayer will be easy on the pressure that was at the top end of that estimate by the way 19.39 One pellet on the first shot in the left wing two pellets on the second shot left wing and center of the body Not too bad I actually got it down quicker than I would have thought for that and out of nowhere Just got a level 7 Mexican Bobcat trotting across here now that they're class 2 we of course need to use something like the 22250. Can we just sneak that shot in there? I don't know about that. Oh, just smoke that cactus if that was the plan. That felt a little bit better. I think we got it. But man, we of course would have had the 44 lever action or something like it back in the day when Bobcats were class three. And it maybe would have saved us from, I think nearly messing that up. I'm pretty sure we got it anyway. And indeed, vital blood there got a high bleed rate after that probably helped that we hit him once already kind of close if we if its leg was opposite that might have just gotten into a lung but got the right lung the second time 24.98 grave for that guy and i don't think at least since they redid their weights we've actually had a diamond mexican bobcat we got one over on new england not that they're really any different than they were in the past but would be kind of nice to see one with a new weight range that's a big pronghorn. Oh my goodness. Level 5, 101 to 116. And I just thought of this as we were tracking it. Can't use the 7 mil anymore. Talking about the changes to Bobcats, pronghorn have undergone one as well. Look at the cutters on that guy. That is super impressive. So, gonna have to be 22 250 again. That's the big horns. He's gonna turn there. That should be fine. It's gonna take a while for him to go down. The other thing we haven't had is a diamond pronghorn on Rancho, and I don't see any way that was messed up. 101 to 116 is an insane estimate. I think max score is 104 in change, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I think that guy's got a real chance at it, and the mere fact that we ended up tracking that down, or did we? Okay, I think we got on another trail then. There was a max weight pronghorn that we were following. I assume that was him, unless there were maybe two in the area? Vital organ hit gonna be a medium bleed rate. And yeah, that's the one that we followed for that little bit. Really lucky we stumbled into that, because that's a monster. The only question is, just how big is it? We don't see these horns very often at all. Super long curl there, too. I think that guy's got a shot of being way up there. Wow, 104.39, 64.89 kilo. That makes him our biggest pronghorn ever. Not max weight though, but yet our biggest one, our only that I can recall over 104, and that's definitely gonna have to find a spot in our main lodge. That's really, really nice. Cool to see that. That horn length, I mean that super long curl up and around, that's gotta, you know, make a significant contribution to the horn length part of this, which is the largest portion of their score. What an awesome looking pronghorn. Not what we came here for, talked about the pheasants and all that, but I'll take a giant personal best pronghorn any day. And you know, the mere fact that we found him there nervous, I don't think we spooked him. I think one of these guys spooked him, and he just happened to be walking up towards us. What? Oh. When they're in that feeding animation, I guess they can't react to a shot. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they would have actually spooked from a bobcat, and that would explain why they were actually coming back our direction. Nervous already. That had to be what happened. 
Now, it didn't help. One was no organs hit, the other, I'm thinking non vital, which is probably vertebrae. I'm really not sure how, unless it was because he was in that feeding animation, but nonetheless, kind of funny the way he dropped down there. Take a quick photo of that. I don't think we ever had that before. Nice backdrop, actually. Anyway, we hit him in the stomach there. Yeah, just too far back. And then second shot straight in the vertebrae. I don't know how we managed that. I didn't think we were aiming that far back, but clearly that was the case. Ends up being just a little bronze, but now we've had gray and tan bobcats already. So this ought to be interesting. Got another rooster pheasant. I think he was trying to run this direction for cover, and we kind of got him cut off. He is coming this way still. Typically, though, if you get in the way, they'll just go ahead and flush. And we're not going to be dragging that one. That hit a little bit more center than the last. Quite a few pellets in there. Nice gold at 16.67. Just kind of scooting through the southwest part of the map here. And it is now whitetail drink time, and I believe whitetail do drink down here. So as we're checking for pheasants, maybe jackrabbits, bobcats, stuff like that, we can maybe look for some drinking whitetail. Kind of moving the wrong direction, though, I will say. Now level 2 with the 1 kilo estimate. This guy's really determined to get to cover. I don't know where he thinks he's going to get to. Probably something over in here. But eventually, he should flush. There we go. <laughs> if you can get him close range, it is no problem whatsoever for the 20 gauge. 13 score really only hit him with... Five pellets according to that? I really would think it's more than that. And sometimes I wonder if they all actually show, because the both of those, the last two, at the range we shot, you would think, I don't know, 20 to 30 pellets ought to hit it. You know, just for the sake of it, we've got this level two whitetail out here, about 230 meters, something like that, and we brought the seven mil. So let's just go ahead, get that lined up and drop him. Glad he didn't fall in the water, because the point of shooting him there was now we gotta go all the way around. And I guess we could go this way. I'm not 100% sure these map borders aren't always perfect. So we'll go the long way. And that just gives us an opportunity to run into maybe other stuff. Well, that's a decent rooster. Had we been at all ready for that, that might've gone a little better. Last shot clipped him. He's gonna land over there. That was a male. The females can't make that morning call. There's a male somewhere down by where that hen called from, but I think we probably better go and track this because he is going to go a ways uh, still not dead. Hopefully he maybe flies back our direction. So not that bad, but very low bleed rate. One pellet in the wing at 50 meters. Takes a little while to bring him down, but he ended up being a silver anyway, despite the promising estimate. And now we're way down here, and that white tail box did about 750 meters over that direction, and in theory, there's another rooster pheasant somewhere between here and there. And I'm gonna assume it's that one. Just a little level one. Get zero for 25, so we're not maybe caught off guard this time. And that one will be no big deal. So lots of pheasants so far. 12.44 score, by the way, mostly in the wing. And we're getting pretty close to our buck. And interesting, our buck's floating around the water here, so we're lucky. That we don't have to go all the way back? Not really sure how that works, but double long 193.66 is 0.13 from gold, but managed to get two rooster pheasants just from taking a buck tomatoes, kind of take a detour. Well, I was hoping we might get a little closer than that, but got a whole group of antelope jackrabbits just hopping along out here, and we do have the 22. I think it's probably the only gun we haven't actually shot yet today. Might as well get that decent mail. And Pretty much every time we see a group of them pick up a group of tracks, we go along and look for any big ones. I don't remember the last time we've seen that 4kg track or estimate, which of course is the max weight for jackrabbits. They're just tough to find. But one of those things we spent so much time hunting out here on ranchos, we have a big one morning calling down there. All the time we spent to get the two diamonds that we have in the trophy lodge, nice to just kind of come after them and not have that pressure to get a big one. 4.67 is just under gold. I don't even know where to really go from here. It is almost bighorn drink time, but I'm not terribly worried about that. So we'll probably just start running some roads and paths and look for more pheasants. And we've got our first molting pheasant of the hunt. I kind of, yeah, two roosters in there. I don't even, I don't know what we shot the first time. Spotted him, I think, but I didn't see it. This guy was just level one, so nothing special. Actually, 10 score being our lowest. 
a nice little molten gold at 16.99. Brain shot, what? Not sure I've ever done that, and I don't know if I'll do it again. So we're just gonna get a quick screenshot of that. That was kind of cool. And it's all come full circle here. Got a bunch of pronghorn out in front of us, which they just happen to be getting up and I guess leaving their zone. So I think we'll try to get that three, although he's on the trot. And with the 22250, I don't love our odds of getting the lead right and not hitting like a leg bone or anything that's gonna stop it. So he's alert. Didn't really want him to face us. I'm not super confident that's gonna punch through. Pronghorn hearts sit way far back. It did get a lung, so that'll be fine. I was a little worried about being between the lungs, but we'll take that. The only negative is, I don't think we'll be able to get that back to the trophy lodge. We have that issue where we're unable to get into the trophy lodge right now, and I don't know when that's actually gonna be resolved. Hopefully we can get a good screenshot of the pronghorn for the thumbnail, but uh, I guess we'll kinda have to just imagine it <laughs> as we wrap up this video. So as for our final pronghorn and final kill of the hunt, gonna be a silver at 71. Almost hit the heart actually. Really close and online to hit, that, I think, that artery right there. Looks like it would have. And at least we got in the lung and didn't have to track him for forever. So pretty solid hunt and cool to get our biggest pronghorn ever on Rancho. I really feel like they fit well on this map. And I kind of talked about it at the beginning. We don't come here a lot. There's a lot of days where maybe I'm undecided on the video I'm going to record, go to look at multiplayer servers, think about Rancho, not open. Got into one today and ended up killing a giant pronghorn in the process, and hopefully we can do more of this down the road. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.